Well, hello everyone. So today, we're going to work on finishing that boost converter project that we started a while back. This will be the last video where we work on it, and the next video, we're going to see if the finished product works, and we'll do what it was intended to do. So the only thing that's really left to do is power the gate drive board and the Arduino board from some kind of power supply that's separate from the grid, because obviously what's the point in having this boost converter if we have to have something plugged into the wall? So originally I did want to have everything powered from the two batteries from 24 volts DC. So I got a couple of DC to DC converters and tried them out. And unfortunately that didn't really go as planned. The one of them failed immediately and the other one failed shortly thereafter. Now I admit I may have done something wrong. However, I thought instead of replacing them, why do that? Because really they just limit the input voltage anyways. So I'll tell you what I mean. One of the converters went from 24 volts DC to 5 volts DC to power the Arduino board. But the thing is, it has a limited input voltage range. It can only go from, I'm making up figures here, from 20 to 30 volts DC input. So really that just limits the input range. We could go lower on the input or higher on the input if we wanted to, if we had something that had a wider range. The same was true with the gate drive power supply, the DC to DC converter for that. That one actually had a pretty narrow range. It only went from about 22 volts DC up to 26 volts DC. So you may be thinking it shouldn't be that big of a deal because we're running from 24 volts DC anyway, so what's the point? The thing is, when the batteries drain, their voltage drops, especially when they drop under, under load. Under a heavy load, they drop down pretty far. But what that could do is it could actually shut the DC to DC converter off for the gate drive, which could be a disaster. So I thought of a different solution instead. Okay, so instead of using the DC to DC converters to power the gate driver and the Arduino board, I've thought of a different solution. And that is to use the NIMH batteries here for the Arduino board, that's four double A's, and the two 9 volt batteries for the gate drive. That might seem a little bit silly, but it does work. And if you think about it, it removes the limitation of the input voltage. So now we're not tied down to 24 volts DC anymore. So we could go, if you wanted to do more, you could put three batteries in series for 36 volts or four batteries in series for 48 volts. You could put as much voltage as you want on as long as you're not getting close to the limit of the rating of the capacitors and the IGBTs and all the rest of that. So really, I think it's a better solution just for this. Now, if you were running a boost converter off of something else, a different type of power supply, like something that you wanted to plug into the wall, then maybe it would be a better idea to go with the DC to DC converters. But that's what I've got going on for now. So again, this will be the last test before we move on and hook it up to the motor and see if it will power our motor. This is the last test with resistors. I'm just going to show you a couple different waveforms here. The video is going to be pretty short. Currently, the oscilloscope is set to 50 volts per division, and the voltage here in the corner, that's the output voltage. So right now we have the two batteries hooked up in series, so the output voltage is the same as the battery's input voltage. And when I start the Arduino board, pulse width modulator, again, as in the previous videos, you'll see the output voltage increase, and you'll see the interesting turnoff of the IGBT. So here we go. So there is a turn-off spike over there to the left, right here, but it doesn't look too bad. And so far everything's working as it should. So guys, the boost converter is technically completed. This is going to be the last build video. The next build video, we are going to hook it up to a variable frequency drive, we're going to hook it up to a one and a half horsepower three phase blower and we're going to see if it's able to power it successfully. 
So I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.